Hey, what's going on everyone? Appreciate y'all coming here and checking out this Starfield video. So for those of you that haven't heard the news, recently the infinite money glitch has been patched. Like we can't loot the vendor chests no more. And same with all the goodies that we used to be able to get from Aquila City's uh, vendor chest. We can't get those either. So I decided since that happened, I'd make this video showing a way to get credits really efficiently after the patch. So this should help you stock up on money. Maybe not as easy as just going to the chest and looting 72,000 credits, but it's still going to help you stock up on loads and loads of credits. You're going to be rolling in the dough after I show you these tips that you can use to get credits really fast. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into this. If you find this enjoyable, by the way, before I get into it, just want to leave a reminder here in the beginning. Consider taking a little bit of your time and leaving a like on the video. The support is greatly appreciated. Let's see if we can get this video to surpass, I don't know, 700 likes or something. That'd be awesome. By the way, be sure to use the timestamps that are available to navigate through this video because at the end also I'll be showing you where to get all of the materials that will be required to make this outpost to get tons of credits as well as experience to level up too. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into all of this. So starting this off, we're going to be going over to Narion. So from Alpha Centauri here, let's head on over to Narion. Now once you're here, you want to go to the Androphon Moon, which is located right here. So yeah. Now once over here, what we're going to be doing is looking for a place to put our outpost at. You can use the same location that I chose in this video, but where we want to try to get our outpost is between iron and aluminum. You can see aluminum right here and iron at this red spot. So when you're trying to look for these two areas combined together to put your outpost at, the trick is to keep clicking A on an area and while you're clicking a what you want to do is try to get craters and mountains like really close together because the trick is craters for example is aluminum and mountains is iron so if you get the biomes really close together you'll be able to find an outpost with both aluminum and iron together as an available resource i'll get more into this here in a second so yeah just keep clicking a to try to find a spot to land like as you can see this one states mountains and if i go over a little bit it states craters right here Except we're not going to be landing down here. This is actually where I landed before at my first area that I landed at to try to find the outpost. So if you want to use my exact coordinates, feel free. I'll go ahead and zoom out so you get a good look at the planet. You could press, you know, LB to show the resources if you're on Xbox. And yeah, let me zoom in exactly where I landed here so you can use this same landing spot. So try to land around here. And once you land here, we're going to be heading to the outpost. You want to find a place where you set up your outpost. I'm just going to go ahead and fast travel to my outpost just because I already have it set up. But I'll be trying to get into as much detail as I can on how you can locate this spot because honestly this is the longest part over trying to get this to work. You also get plenty of experience too from this, but um, you'll get also a lot of credits. So yeah, if I pull out my outpost, you will notice that I have extractors available at this outpost. So if I go over to extractors, I got aluminum and iron extractor. That's what you want to make sure you have when you place your outpost. I'll go ahead and give you all a quick example by going out of this one that I already have built. And I'll pull out my outpost by pulling out the scanner and then pressing X. Which I suggest just to run around with your outpost out like this because this will help you pinpoint where you can place your outpost with both available resources because as you can see at the top left up there that's where you can see the resources that are available when you plop down your outpost so if i find the sweet spot where aluminum and iron are both available when i go to plop down my outpost i'll be able to use aluminum and iron extractors those will be available if the resources aren't available the extractors won't be available in the build menu so yeah keep that in mind that's what you want to look for i'll try to give you my exact coordinates on where i'm at so, where did I land? Okay, so over there is where I landed. It's about 831 meters away from me. So I did travel, you know, kind of a further distance from where I landed. But as you see, the biomes are starting to split here. It's kind of hard to tell, but this side's really red. And this side over here is more blue, more of a darker tone. Anyways, once you have found the spot, what you want to do is set up an outpost. So, you know press X and then to toggle my view I just press the button next to start you can see what you have to press at the bottom of the build menu but yeah now what I want to do is place some iron extractors over at this highlighted area and then place aluminum extractors over at this highlighted area it's best probably just to start with one so you can get down what you got to do 
And then once you have the extractors down, what you want to do is connect them to storage containers. Which by the way, I'll be showing you also how to purchase everything that you're going to need to build everything here really easily. But yeah, then you want to put down some storage containers. Honestly, just three is good enough. And then connect it to an extractor. So for instance, this side will be aluminum. And how you connect them is you go up to the extractor and you press right trigger. So as you can see, I now I got this link. And then I just want to lead it over to a storage container. And I press A on it. And that means it is now connected to that storage container. And once you have it connected to the storage container, you can also link it to all the others that you place by pressing right trigger, once again. And then you can press A onto these other boxes. And this will connect it to everything else. So it shares with all of the other containers that you have put down. So you don't have to worry about, you know, linking a bunch of different extractors to a bunch of different storage containers. You can just link the storage containers together. It's really simple, guys. I know it's, it kind of sounds a little complex, but I'm telling you guys, once you go out there and just try this, you'll see how simple it is to actually set up the storage containers with the extractors. Anyways, once you got the extractors down, connected with storage containers, so for instance, this side is my aluminum storage containers, and this side is my iron storage containers, and I have them linked together, you then want to put down some power. So you go over here to the power, which is, so you go over here to power and you place a bunch of these solar arrays, which are gonna need aluminum, beryllium, and copper, which by the way, once again, I'll be showing you where to get all of these materials at. But yeah, you just place down some solar arrays. If you're just starting with like, you know, one to three storage containers, you're not gonna need as much power, obviously, as I need to power up all of these storage containers and extractors. I need quite a bit because I got quite a bit down. You don't have to place nearly as much as I have placed here, guys, keep that in mind. But anyways, so once you got the solar arrays down and everything's powered up, you then want to go over to furniture and place down a bed as well. This will require aluminum and fiber, which I'll be showing you where to get these materials too. So yeah, don't worry about any of this that you're gonna need to build. It's really cheap to get all these materials. You don't have to start out with a lot. And over time, you'll be able to create more and more because you'll keep getting more iron and aluminum and adaptive frames as well, which what I'm gonna be getting into next. After you place the bed, you then wanna go over to crafting and put down an industrial workbench, which this requires aluminum and iron. So you should have plenty of that if you have this set up. So anyways, once you got all this down, what you wanna do is head over to the industrial workbench. You'll then just wanna go over to your bed that you placed and sleep for 24 hours. This will make it so once you wake up, all the storage containers will be filled but I've already slept, so all my storage containers are filled, so I'm just gonna go to the industrial workbench. But yeah, as you can see, once you have slept, the uh, you'll be able to craft loads of adaptive frames, because once again, the storage containers will be filled with aluminum and iron. You don't have to technically go loot the aluminum and iron from the storage containers. You should automatically just be able to craft the adaptive frames from this industrial workbench, which I'm just gonna go ahead and bump up to 99 of these by pressing RB over and over and holding in over as well, if if you're on Xbox, this is a fast way to get all the way over to 99. And I'm just gonna keep crafting 99 over and over. This will give you loads of experience and you're gonna be getting loads of adaptive frames as well, which is what we're gonna be selling to get loads of credits. I'll be showing you a good place to go sell these as well to get the most bang for your buck too. So stay tuned for that. And once you get done crafting everything, you just wanna simply wait for 24 hours. And once you wake up your storage containers will be full again with aluminum and iron. Then you just go back to crafting loads of adaptive frames again. So yeah, that's how this works. So once you've crafted a lot, you then just wanna go and sell these. So we wanna make our way back to our ship. Now you could build a landing pad at your base to make this even more efficient, which how you do that is go back to build menu by point out scanner and point out your outpost. If you go over to miscellaneous, you can find landing pad with ship builder. It's gonna require zero wire, only two, adaptive frames, iron, and beryllium. So yeah, you could build one of these bad boys somewhere around in your camp. This will make it so your ship will spawn here, and you could get the adaptive frames on your ship more efficiently without having to travel all the way back to wherever you landed at. Which I'm gonna be doing that because I'm just showing you it is possible without even building the landing pad, but that will help make it more efficient. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull out my scanner and find where my ship is located at. Okay, so it's located that way. Now I'm just gonna run that way. 
it doesn't matter that I'm over encumbered. Sure, it will drain my health and whatnot, but you don't die from it. You can continue to run while being over encumbered. Yeah, you'll get really low health, but you're not going to die from it. So don't worry about that. All right. So I've officially made it back over to my ship. I can't exactly fast travel to it. The reason I have to walk all the way back here is because, well, I'm over encumbered. It doesn't take that long though, it takes like a few minutes. All right, so once you're at your ship, you then just want to drop all the adaptive frames that you crafted on it. I mean, you can store these in your cargo too, if you have some cargo, but if you don't really have cargo, you don't have to worry. As you can see, I made a little over 5,000 as you can see, I got quite a bit of adaptive frames made. Made a little over 5,000 right there. And I have some more in other locations around in my ship. But yeah, where you want to go to sell these is at the Wolf System. And that's located right by Alpha Centauri. I'll show you another location as well. But one location you can go to sell all these adaptive frames will be located at the Wolf System. Once again, right by Alpha Centauri. And then once you're at this system, you want to go right here to the Den. So yeah fast travel here and then once you're here you want to boost up your engine so you get over to the den a little quicker that's fast enough this should be fast enough once you're over here at the den you just want to pull out your scanner and then press a and then hold x to dock if you're on xbox all right so now let's go ahead and board the den real quick i'm just going to run back in though and get all my adaptive frames i could have just technically got up instead of boarding but yeah as you see, there's some adaptive frames right here. 5,105. 99 more right there. There's some more right there. And once again, if you don't really trust this process fully, you can just simply say before making this transfer over to go sell them. But yeah, once you got over to the den, where you want to go to sell these is first off, you want to exit out to the den. And where I'm going to go to sell them will be over at the Trade Authority, which isn't a far run whatsoever. It's located right here. So yeah, head over to this dude. Well, this station seen better days. And then, and then once you get done talking to him, just say, I'd like to see what you have for sale. And this will take you to the trade menu. Once you're here, you just press LB to go and sell. Or, you know, of course, it's going to be different if you're on PC. But then once you go to sell, just go down to your resources and sell these adaptive frames. He's going to have plenty of, the reason why this is a great spot to go and sell is because he has plenty of vendor credits to work with. So you could sell loads of these. So I'm just going to go ahead and sell about 4,000 of these for a little over 11,000 credits. So yeah, bam, I just got 11,000 credits that easily. Took minutes, literally. Probably like a good 10 minutes. Probably took about, I don't know, 10 minutes after I got the outpost invested and got everything set up. Just crafted all the adaptive frames and then came here. It took about 5 minutes to craft all the adaptive frames or so. And I just came here. Of course, it's going to be even faster on the PC. But yeah, how you reset the vendor so you can sell even more to them is just go to a chair and just wait 24 hours. And that'll reset the vendor to have 11,000 credits again. So yeah, once you've waited, just get up and go back over to the person and trade with them. It's literally that simple. I recommend coming here with more stocked so you can just keep you know, this process of waiting and selling over and over. Oh, his vendor credits didn't reset. It must be 48 hours. Whoops, thought it was 24, my bad. It is 24 at another location. All right, yeah, so you have to just wait 48 hours, and then you can go and sell your stuff again to them. There is another area where you don't have to wait as long to sell stuff, which I'll be showing you next. But yeah, that's a quick way to sell, to make some fast credits easily. And you don't have to worry about this ever being patched, too. So yeah, this is good. Anyways, the other location will be over at New Atlantis which is located at Alpha Centauri. So in case you don't know where that is, it's located right here, which most of you should know where this is. Which while I'm over here, I'm also gonna be showing you where to go to purchase everything really easily too, to get the outpost going. So yeah, once you're at Alpha Centauri, just head over to Jemison, and then you're just gonna fast travel to the viewport at New Atlantis. All right, so once you're here, first off, I'm gonna be showing you where to go to purchase everything for your outpost, all the resources that you're gonna need will be located right up here at the mercantile shop. You can even purchase the material, material. You can even purchase the materials you're gonna need for the landing pad too to make this more efficient, so you don't have to run all the way to your ship. But yeah, as you can see, here's the mercantile shop at New Atlantis. Once you're here, just head on over to this lady and talk to her, and then go down to resources, 
and here you could buy everything you're going to need. So a little grocery list for you in case you're wondering what you're going to need to purchase. You're going to need to purchase some adaptive frames, aluminum, beryllium, cobalt, copper, iron, lubricant, which I didn't spawn in this time around, but I will show you a way to restock. Nickel, tungsten, and zero wire. And zero wire. Which real quick, uh, once you do purchase uh, some of the materials, which real quick, what you want to do once you do purchase things and you want to get more of what you purchase, you just go over here to this chair and just wait 24 hours. Also, this will restock the vendor, so if you don't see like something that you are requiring like I didn't see the lubricant that time around all I gotta do is just go over here and wait 24 hours and more than likely it's gonna be within her inventory this time around so yeah as you see lubricant is there this time anyways once you get the materials you then just want to go to Androphon and then craft your outpost of course you don't need a lot to start off with you know just start off with a few storage containers and a few extractors and a few solar arrays and whatnot and you're good to go also you want to purchase some fiber too from her too I forgot to mention that. The reason why you want fiber is that's how you can build a bed. Anyways, another spot where you can go and sell things will be located right over here in this elevator. You just want to go down to the well from the mercantile shop. And once you're down here in the well, you just want to take a left right here and head over to this trade authority. This is another area where you can go and sell things. And it only takes 24 hours to reset this vendor. It doesn't take as long. But it is a little further from your ship. So it does take a little longer to get to this one just depends on what you want to do so yeah go and trade with her and then go to sell and just sell things you're wanting to sell I'm gonna go ahead and show you real quick that her vendor does reset pretty quickly I'm not gonna save it I'm just gonna sell a bunch of good stuff here I'm not saving it I just want to show you that the vendor does reset I didn't I already sold all my adaptive frames previously all right so yeah down to 3,000 credits here now I'm gonna show you how to reset this vendor all you gotta do is just go to this couch and then wait 24 hours so sit down on the couch. Just gonna show you real quick. Wait 24 hours. All right, just got done waiting the 24 hours. Let's see if they reset in just one day or does this one take also 48 hours? I'm pretty sure it used to take 24, so yeah, there we go, yeah. It still takes 24 hours to reset this one. But yeah, there you guys have it everyone. This is a really fast way to get tons of credits and you don't also have to worry about this way ever being patched so i recommend doing this of course i just showed you a brief method over an example of how this works i didn't craft a ton and then go and sell all of them I and mean, you can craft way more than what i craft this is a great way to get loads of credits and to level up your character really fast too but yeah i'm out of here everyone hopefully this does help you out as always thanks for taking the time watching and listening until next time peace